Hello, Siri and Grace. Poon, good afternoon. Speak. Good, good afternoon, afternoon, teacher Romeo. Like that, like that. Don't just do like this. I give you, I'm giving you the freedom to open your microphone. So speak if you want to say something. Okay, hello, Haruka. Also, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. So let's wait for others. Maybe they will join today. Are you tired already? Thank God it's Friday, last class, and then rest for two days. And I like the weather. Do you like the weather? It's raining here in Patumtani. How about there, Grace? You're far from here. Is it raining there? No. Oh, no. It's raining here, right? Poon by Kao and Haruka, right? It's raining here. Woo. I the weather. I like the weather. Okay, so I think others will just catch up. Okay, so today we will start making our own app in or on code.org. Okay, so we will decide which app to make. Okay, or what are the functions that we will add in our app. Okay, but before that, I will show you a video first. And please prepare uh, your code.org, your computer, or whatever device you have there. Okay, so I will show you a video first as an introduction on the design mode, introduction to the design mode of code.org. Can you see it? Okay, I will play the video. To build your own apps, you're going to need to start designing screens and elements from scratch. App Lab makes this easy to do with design mode. Use the switch on top of your app to go into design mode. You can add new elements by dragging them onto the screen. You can move them around to different locations and change their size by dragging the bottom right corner. To change an element's properties, use the controls on the right. For example, it's really easy to change this button's text color, and font size. When you add a new element to your screen, it'll get a generic ID like button one. It's a good idea to change this ID to something more meaningful, like right button, so that you'll know which one it is when you go to the program. If you add an element to your app by mistake, just drag it out or hit delete. You can add entirely new screens to your app by dragging in a screen element. From the drop down at the top, you can quickly switch back and forth between the screens you create. Inside your app, you'll need a way to switch between all of these screens. So the set screen block has been added to the toolbox. Use set screen inside an on event block to change screens at the click of a button. In the next few levels, you'll be working on a single project. First, you'll add a button, then you'll add a new screen. And finally, you will write code so that the button switches to the new screen. Okay, so that is about introduction to uh, App Lab. I mean, the design mode of App Lab. Okay, so students, did you did you sign in on code.org already? Okay, so when you sign in, you can see create here. Okay, so you click the drop down arrow and then choose App Lab app lab and then you will be you will be navigated to a page where you can create your own app okay so for for our uh, app today actually this is a continuous app so we will do it step by step okay until we finish the app so for today we will try to do like this okay so this is an example so this is the home screen for example of my app I named it my app because I cannot, I cannot think of the name since last night. Okay, so just my, uh, my app. And then when you click on run, okay, you need to press the, or you need to tap or click the enter button so that you will proceed to the next screen. So it's like the home page of your app. Okay, where sometimes you can find play if it is a game, something like that. 
So we will make like this today. Okay, just that's all. And then for the buttons, click and then after that, proceed to the next screen. Okay, so when you click on create and then app lab, you will you will be here. Right? Are you here already? Create and then app lab. Okay, are you here already? Please tell me so that we can continue or we can proceed to the next thing that we will, we will do. Is it okay now? Okay, so here, students, as what you can see, there is a name, okay, of a project. Okay, so I want you to click rename so that you can be able or you will be able to rename that, that project. Okay, so for this one, we will just name it as my app. Because every time we have our class, we will open this one. So we will add more functionalities and features every week on our app. Okay? And then click on save. And then it will be saved. It will change to my app. Okay? And here as what have been uh, shown in the video, there are elements here. Okay? For the code. Okay, so we have like this, UI controls, data, control variables, functions, math, turtle, and canvas. It's like in Scratch. Some of these uh, blocks here are similar with Scratch. Okay, so we will use uh, some of them, not all of them, because they are too many. Okay, so let's see until uh, which or until how many blocks we can use for uh, this entire uh, semester. Okay, or finals period. And then here you can see the design where you can design your app. Okay, so here there are elements that you can insert onto your app. So there, there is button, text input, there's also a label, drop down, radio button, checkbox, image, canvas, and other. Okay, actually students, to be honest with you, I'm not familiar how to use these yet some of them i i only know how to use button and then also label image as well as screen okay but i will explore uh, other things here other elements so that i can teach you also in the following weeks okay so as of now we will just do the basic okay so we will design our home screen okay using the button as well as label and also we will change the background of our screen okay so as what you can see here when you click on the screen they, this is the properties or these are the properties so in the previous weeks we needed to code it right using the set property blocks but actually if you are using your own app it's very easy you can just change the id here you can change the color easily as well as the background uh, image okay so for this one for the ID, we will change this one to something that is very or easily identifiable. So since we are making the home screen, so we will make it or we will change the name to home screen. Everybody change the name of the ID to home screen. Hello, Satang, Ode, and Alice. I know, I hope you are following our activity too. Just go to create and then click up app lab, okay? I'm confused with that pronunciation, app lab, okay? And then change the name to my app and then go to design mode for those who just came in. Okay, have you changed it already? Yes or no? Okay, so here also students, we can change the background color easily. We don't need to program or to code or to use the set property block. Okay, so all you need to do is to choose a color here if you want it to be a solid color, but you can also change or make your background uh, using an image. Okay, so you can use an image as a background of your screen. So all you need to do is the same last time. How do you insert an image or how do you, search, or how do you uh, change the background of something? All you need to do is to click on choose and then after that, you can search anything on Google. 
Okay, just like this. You can search any background that you like. Okay, find the background now. Oh, this one looks lovely. I like it. Oh, nice. Okay, so open another tab on Google Chrome or whatever browser you are work or using. This one is nice also. Wow. I love these backgrounds. Oh my gosh. Which one is more beautiful? This one or this one? Please help me choose. One or two? Which one? Two? This one? Okay, so I will choose this one as my background. Okay, students, how do you copy the link of this image? What will you do? Please answer me. How can you copy the link of this one? Anyone? Oh, the same last time. What did we do? Hello, students. Please answer my question. Hello, PP. Yes, how can we copy the link address? Of this? Click right. Okay, right click, not click right. right oh, sorry. Like, okay, and then? Uh -huh. And then um, copy copy image address okay very good Poon. okay so right click and then copy image address and then you paste it here okay i experienced a slight problem last night i searched one photo for my background image but it did not work so maybe some of the url here might not work okay so in that case if that happens then uh find another background okay so let me try this one and then just click submit. I hope it will change. I like the background. Oh, yes. Love it. But it's stretched. Hmm? Does it still look good if it's stretched? Is it okay? Does it look good? How about this one? I will try this one. How about you there? Are you done? I, this one is not, I don't like it. Okay, how about you? By S. Ericania, Grace, Poon, uh, PP, Alice, and um, Ode, are you done? Okay, so I will use this one. Okay. And then also you may add Okay, a title for this one, a title of your app, a name of your app. Okay, so it's up to you what name you want for your app. Okay, and what are you going to choose here so that you can have the name of your app here? What element? Anyone? For the words, for the names, what do we use? Students, I need your answer. What element are we going to use for the name? Text. There's no text. No, it's not text area. Can you see? Uh, can you? Do you remember last time when we create the flashlight? There is the word flashlight up here. So, what was that? Oh, you forgot already, students? We only used four uh, elements so far. I think we have button, label, we also have screen, and yeah, that's all. Only three for now. So, what is it among the three? Is it button, label, or screen? Please answer me. I'm giving you a choice. You will just choose one there. Students, what do we use for the words? The words that we changed the color last time. We did that one. Set property and then what was that? Oh, why did you forget? So that means you don't.
Students, I'm waiting for your answer. We will not proceed if no one will answer. Do not make me angry, please. I don't want to. What element are we going to use here for the name of our app? Green. What element are we going to use here? So you will choose one here. For the words that we are going to type, what element Label. are we going to use? Yes? Label. Label, yes. It's zero A, B, C. It's very understandable. Can you remember the label one, label two? They are words, right? Students, why do you forget uh, the things that we learned last time? I don't like it if you are like that, to be honest. And you need, and you are waiting for me to be angry before you respond. I don't like it. I will not call names. You are big enough already. Okay, so you need to drag it here. Okay, and you can make it bigger by uh, using the bottom right corner of the border. And also we can change the properties of these of this element easily. Okay, so for this, uh, I, for the ID label one, maybe we can change this one to uh, app name. Okay, because it's about the name of the app and then also the text or the word that uh, we are going to have there. Okay, so for example, the name of your app is my app or you can think any other names if you want to. And then, how do you change the color of the text? Right now, I cannot see my text here, so I want to change the color. How can I do that here? Which one am I going to change? Change the color. Text color. Okay, so text color. So you can click here, and then after that, you can select any color that you like. Okay, for example, red, maybe. Okay. Right. How about if I want to make it bigger? Which one am I going to modify here? If I want to make it bigger. Font size. Font size. Very good. Okay. So as of now, uh, font size is 13. So we can... Uh, change it to a higher higher number so that our label here will be bigger. Okay, I think red doesn't look good here. I think white or. What color? What color do you think for this one? I think red is too bright. Yeah, let's stick to this one. Okay. And then change the font size also. By the way, you can move it anywhere. Okay, it's up to you. Where are you going to put it? And then, are you done, by the way? How about the others? You will send your work later, so do it. If you are not doing it, do it. Okay, so now we will have the button. This one, the enter button. So every time you click this button, uh, it will proceed to another screen. By the way, students, it's easier to uh, make or to create the design of your app first before coding. Okay, so what we are doing now is we are designing. Okay, so we will add a button here. Okay, so what element are we going to use so that we can have a button here? Anyone? 
What element are we going to choose here? Button. Okay, so we will use the button element. Take note, students, that if you are not answering, you will not get any additional points, I mean. Okay, so we have here the button on uh, uh, element, so we can drag it over here. Okay, you can make it bigger if you want to. Okay, but not too big, I guess. Okay, and like la the label and screen, we can also change the ID. Okay, so for this one, we can say enter button or enter so that we can identify it easily later when we code. And then for the text, enter. Okay, and then you can also change the text color as well as the background color. The same what we did last time. Okay, so please do it. What's the color of this one? Okay. By the way, you can change the font size also if you want to. Just click on the element if you want to change something about it. You see the sands. Okay, done. Okay, please take a photo of your work and send it in our to our line group. If you're done, I just want to know that you're really doing it. Okay, please send it, send the photo now. Where is our group? I cannot find our group here. Okay, please take a photo, just a photo. Okay. Mm -hmm. How about the others? I received two photos. Okay, others, please send also, okay? Okay, so now we will add a second screen. We are now done with the home screen. So we need to add a function to this button, the, the enter button. Okay, so when we click this one, it will go to another screen. So how are we going to do that? Do you have an idea? Yes or no? Any ideas on how to do it or on how to add another screen? Yes, Aruka? Um, screen. Okay, so all you need to do is to choose the screen element and then after that, dra drag it here. Okay, and then another screen will be added. Don't worry, the home screen is still there. If you want to go back to home screen, then you can just click the drop down arrow here and then home screen if you want to change something. Okay? 
And then now we are working on screen two. Okay, so for the screen two, maybe we can name this one as options because we will have here some options as to how we will or what are what's the game or the activity that we are going to do on our app. Okay, so options for now, we can change it later. Okay, and then same with uh, the home screen. I would like you also to change it to uh, or change the background of this screen. Okay, so I would like you to search another photo. Maybe I will use this one for my screen background. I like this one. Home screen. By the way, there is a make default button here. So if you want your background to be the same, on all of your screens, then you can click on that one. Okay, so we have now second screen. So home screen and then the options screen. Done. How about the others? Are you done? Only Haruka is giving me a sign. Okay, so I think others are not done yet, right? So let's wait. Please tell me if you are done so that we can proceed. Okay, done. How about the others? Please tell me if you are done so that I know and we can proceed to the next function. Yes. Okay, so now we have the home screen and the option screen. So when we go back to the home screen, there is a button that uh, should be clickable so that it will proceed to the option screen. So to do that, we will have some coding. So here you can see the code tab. Okay, so go back to it. Okay, so first we will assign the screen that will appear every time we click run. Okay, so of course it should be the home screen. So we will have here set home screen or set screen to home screen. So this is the first block here. So every time you run this program, this will be the screen. Okay. Done. Okay, so how are we going to make this button clickable? What block are we going to use? Anyone? What block are we going to use so that we can make this one clickable? Any idea? We only used three blocks, I think, last time. We used the set property, we used uh, play sound, and also we used on event. So if we want to make this one clickable, what block are we going to use? Anyone? 
Alice Oday Satang, Pipi Poon, and Sirikanya. Where's Grace? Yes, what block are we going to use? Hello, please answer me, students. It seems like I'm talking to myself here. No one wants to talk to me. No one's no one wants to answer me. I don't know why. On on event. Okay, so we will use the on event block. Very good, Haruka. Only Haruka is answering me. My question is very easy. Okay, and then for the ID, what are we going to choose here? Which element are we working on now? Enter. Okay, so we will use or click or choose the enter button. Okay, and then we will uh, keep this one as click, okay, because the function here that we want for this button is click. Okay, and then after that, what are you going to put inside of this on event block? An idea? Okay, any idea as to what block are we going to put inside of this on event block? Take note that we only used three blocks last time. On event, set property, as well as play sound. So you will just choose one from uh, those three. I will not, uh, uh, we will not use any block that we did not study yet. So, how can we proceed to the next screen? Anyone? Set screen. Okay, so set screen. Yes, that's right. Okay. Yeah, we studied this one today. Yes, very good, Haruka. Set screen. And then what are you going to choose here? Options. Okay, options. Okay, so when you run your program, it will be like this. Okay, so when you click on enter, it will go to the options screen. Okay, so that is all for today, students. That's all for the activity for today. We will continue doing this app next week. So we will add one activity here in the option screen or on the option screen. Okay, so maybe we will have this and that, this or that game. Okay, so we will do that one. Or maybe if I can think of another game or another activity that we can uh, insert on our app, then we will do that one also. Okay, so as, as of now, I can think of this or that. Okay, so the same last time, students, when you send your work, please click on share. And last time, you did not embed your work. I will know that if, if your work is embedded because there will be a word embed here. Those students who did not embed their work last time got minus points because they are not following instructions. You know who you are. Okay? So, again, if you want to share your work, all you need to do is to share and then embed here. Show advanced options, embed, and then hide ability to view code. And then after that, copy this one and then send it to me. Type your name first as well as your nickname and your number and then paste the link and then send your work. Again, embed. If you will not follow this instruction again, you will get minus. That's why I ask you to do this one because uh, if you send this one, your friends can copy your work. They can see your code. They can copy your work. So better to do this one. Even me, if you do this one, I cannot see your code. 
So that's it. Do you understand? How about the others? I'm, I am talking to one student here only. Is it clear? Okay, so I will stop the sharing now. If you have questions, just contact me in our line group. Okay, as long as it is my free time, I will help you. Okay, so I will only accept your work until 12 midnight. 12 midnight only because we already did this one in the class. It's very easy. Okay. Okay, so that's all for today. Stay safe and stay at home, everyone. I will see you uh, next week again. Enjoy the weekend. Goodbye.